Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ginger Geyer. I'm the artist behind If These Walls Could Talk at the Neil Cocker Museum. Right now I'm working on a new piece in my home studio and I um, hope you'll look at some of the videos of other installations that are in the exhibition. Here goes. My dad used to come up the stairs tapping on the wall going, rise and shine, it's time to get up. The rise and shine uh, actually comes from a verse in Isaiah about arise and shine for your light has come. Well, this was the piece that started off this whole if these walls could talk deal because I was working on it and ran into Jennifer Cumberbatch at the museum. I started asking her about it. I wanted to know if there was any significance to the transfiguration in black liberation theology. The transfiguration of Jesus where he's up on the mountaintop and he kind of becomes illuminated and uh, Elijah and Moses are here and the three disciples are down there, of course, frightened as they typically are. And anyway, he, he, um, he's shown in all his glory and then he says, no, you got to go back down to the valley. That's where all the work is. That's where the work needs to be done. Well, all we could figure out with black liberation theology, this is kind of an interesting story, was when Martin Luther King Jr. was given his last speech, the one about being on the mountaintop, like that. He apparently was transfigured. He was like lit up at the end of it, and people had to help him into his chair. Now, of course, I get into the trivial along with the profound every time I do something. And so here we have lovely little canisters of shoe polish. The brand is Muhammad Ali's. And he says, you know, float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. This is true. This is on the internet. And he even has one in a neutral wax. That kind of deal, and are you? Jennifer says, of course, he was anything but neutral. The arise and shine thing came into the piece late, but I needed another structure in here, and so I built this kind of box, and down in there is Aaron Douglas's rendition, which is called Arise and Shine. Aaron Douglas is one of the artists of the um, Harlem Renaissance. Another black artist is on here, Horace Pippins. Holy Mountain, getting back to the mountain theme. There's all sorts of stuff going on behind there in the woods. And the shoes for this thing, <laughs> well, of course they are black and white, but they're also kind of like Bigfoot or something, but these were really fun to make. I've made a lot of shoes. Had to find a pair in Goodwill to uh, model from, but these are I guess the shoes of like a shoe shine tap dancer man. So Jennifer found a tap dancer to do a performance with her Rise and Shine um, song. Oh yeah, there's two other art adaptations on here. The, the carving on the box, all over this box. You know what, I'm gonna just take this thing off there. Crash. The carving is from a Cuba, that's Congoese pigment box that I saw in the Dallas Museum of Art. I thought a pigment box was an apt thing for a shoe shine box. And then this painting is uh, from a collage by Romar Bearden, and it's called Model Sleet with the moonrise and sunset. Apparently certain times of year you'll get both. But this reminded me in kind of a scary way of my own hometown, which I discovered was a sundown town after growing up in a totally segregated place and not realizing it. Anyway, Maldell Sleet, whoever she is, is out in the fields. There are a lot of migrant workers in the fields where I live too. And this is the thing that goes where you put your foot down where you're having, when you're having your shoes shined. Rise and shine. 